Hello guys, what's up? This is Varun and welcome to another exciting tutorial. Now in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can display your Facebook feed, notifications, status updates from your friends, stuff like that on your desktop using Geek2. Now this will be very convenient for you guys who are frequent Facebook users and there are a few complicated steps in here but I will try to make this as easy as possible. Now you can go ahead and download a codes file which will basically be copying and pasting the code required for each geeklet in the shell script section so you can go ahead and download that uh, just pause the video and download it and once you're done you can go ahead and play this video so let's get started first of all we need to go ahead and open up automator so automator is basically creating a workflow that will display all the required information actually convert it into a text file now geek tool will actually display all the information in a text file in your desktop so that's what we're going to be using automator for so go ahead and click on the workflow option and click on choose and now in the library section over here, you want to go ahead and click on the internet and then drag in the one which says get specified URLs to your to, to the right in the workflow and you'll have one of these. Now go ahead and drag the get text from articles and drag that one as well. Now one last thing we need to drag in, go to the text option and drag in the new text file option. And there we go. We have that. Now next thing is we need to get the RSS feed from Facebook. So go into your Facebook account right over here. Now I am using this as my page so I have very little notifications. I think I only have one at the moment but I'm sure you guys must have more. So go ahead and click on the notifications and then click on see all notifications. Now you'll see get notifications via RSS. You want to go ahead and click that and you'll be directed to this page right over here. Now what you need to do is just copy the URL command C and paste it in a section where it's asked for your address in automator so there we go it's easy enough now we need to go ahead and change the name of this new text file to whatever you want so I'm going to change this into notifications dot text and make sure you save it in your documents now once that's done I'm going to go ahead and click on run and make sure everything works fine as you can see it works fine just to make sure that it displays the information go ahead to wherever you saved it I think documents it's much better now, if we look at it, there we go, we find it, notifications.txt, go ahead and open it up, and yes, our notifications appear. So that works fine, we're pretty much done with this step, cancel this and minimize. Um, now go back to Automator, and you want to go ahead and save the workflow, so command S or file save as, and save it to whatever you want, but make sure you save it in the same place. So we'll save it as uh, get Facebook notifications and of course the file format should be workflow and save it in your documents and we're done with the automator part now let's get along with the geek tool part so if we go ahead into finder and we can see it right over here get facebook notifications or workflow if we go ahead and open this it will open with automator so that's pretty easy now you want to go ahead and open up geek tool now what we need to do is we need to drag a new shell I suggest making a new group to just keep our geeklets organized. I'd lay, I'll just name this Facebook. And then from there we enable this and then drag a new shell. That'll be much easier to identify. Now go ahead back to the text file. And you want to go ahead and copy this first code. When it says refresh code, you want to go ahead and copy this. Command C. And now this will basically be the code which will refresh the geeklet. So basically refresh the notifications you get. And you can adjust it to how much ever you want. So the time limit you can always change that. Go ahead and command V. Now make sure if you have actually changed the uh, title or where you've saved it, make sure you change this according to your path. So if you've renamed it to something different, uh, go ahead and change this. I've renamed it to get Facebook notifications dot workflow. So what this will do is we'll open it and we'll open it according to your time limit. That's basically the refresh geeklet, and make sure you've typed this correctly, or else you know it won't work. Go ahead and close this and save. Now you want to go ahead and drag a new shell, and then go ahead and click on the three dots, and go back to the text file and copy the Facebook feed code. Command V, and of course you have to change the path if you've renamed it to something else. Uh, I've renamed this to notifications.txt. So of course I will have to change it according to this. 
So I have saved it to desktop and this is basically it. Let's see if it works. And yes, I will just format this so you guys can see it. I'll put it in the top left hand corner and go ahead and click on to set the font color. I'll set it to white and there we go. Increase the size. Um, I'll just get this to, wait, I'll get this a bit smaller so you guys can see it properly. And we'll change the font to BBAS. And as you can see, it works fine. And this is basically how you get Facebook notifications on your desktop. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, make sure to like if this video helped you. And make sure to subscribe if you want to see future videos and tutorials. Um, that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'll catch you for the next one. Cheers.